Spring came swiftly and unexpectedly early this year in North Carolina. What many people, myself included, dismissed as a warm snap in the middle of February was actually the end of winter and sudden emergence of warmer weather. Plants everywhere are either budding or in bloom as they soak up the warm sunbeams. But it's not just the flora that is taking full advantage of the weather change. When spring sprung this year, a host of incredible animals woke up from their winter slumbers and gave me the chance to discover just how quickly wildlife can react when instinct comes knocking on the door. Alright, two important things before we actually get to this video. One, I got braces. Yep. Gawk. Okay, I look like a 10 year old now, but if my narrations are a little bit off this video, that's why I'm still getting used to talking with a big hunk of metal in my mouth. But the second thing, which is a lot more important than the first, is that this is actually a collaboration with Philip of Herber Guide. Now, Philip is a fellow North Carolinian who loves wildlife just as much as I do. We've both gone exploring during this kind of early spring heat spell that's hit in North Carolina, and we found some pretty similar results. But his video will be linked in the description along with his channel, so make sure you check him out. The first discovery that I made was this beautiful northern dusky salamander. During the winter, these salamanders and other amphibians seem to totally disappear. However, they actually coat themselves in a layer of slime and burrow down into the mud when things get chilly. Much like a hibernating bear, these awesome creatures drastically slow down their metabolism at this time, expending as little energy as possible until things warm up again. To find these animals right now, try searching under rocks by streams, where they hide during the daytime hours before moving onto the creek bank by night to hunt for food. And while you're near the water, look out for this next animal. Upland chorus frogs are minuscule amphibians that are found across the southeastern United States. Often the first frogs to begin calling during the spring transition, their songs can be heard from quite a distance away. I found a plethora of these frogs in a tiny creek system that runs through a forest, where they seemed more prevalent than in deeper bodies of water. There is lots of color variation that can occur across this animal's range, and even within this one creek I found many different patterns and colors. The easiest way to identify these frogs is by the dark, backwards facing arrow usually found around the neck area, and the dark stripe that runs across the sides of their heads. Today, these chorus frogs weren't singing for nothing. Their melodies were for one purpose, the attraction of mates. I located many pairs of mating frogs and egg clusters during my adventure. In order to produce offspring, these smaller male frogs climb onto the backs of the females and wrap their forelimbs around her midsection. This position, called amplexus, causes the female to release eggs into the water, where the male fertilizes them. In a few weeks' time, these hundreds of eggs will become tadpoles, and we will definitely visit them soon to check in on their development. But it wasn't just frogs and salamanders that were in on the fun. After a bike ride down to the pond, I saw one of my favorite parts of the spring shift, the toad spawn. Every year, during the first or second week of spring, a multitude of amorous toads congregate at this pond to find love and hopefully pass on their genes to future generations. Like the frogs, these toads will sing to attract mates, and then enter amplexus to produce fertilized eggs. However, unlike the chorus frogs, these toads are a little less courteous during this process. It is not uncommon to see a mating pair being assaulted by other toads who went in on the action, and often this leads to kicking matches between the males.
The toad's eggs are laid in curly tendrils on the pond bottom, where they will eventually hatch into tadpoles over the next few weeks. When this happens, I will make my best effort to be present, as I have never before witnessed the eggs hatching. Want to find some of these neat amphibians yourself? You don't have to go far to have an adventure of your own. Just grab your bike, or walk, to a natural water source near you. Where there is warm weather and water, there are bound to be creatures just waiting to be discovered. Comment what wildlife you find below. I'd love to hear about it. Well, that's all for today's episode. I know that I had a ton of fun, and I hope that you did too. This is just a teaser of the incredible animals that we will undoubtedly find as the weather continues to warm up, so make sure to subscribe right now so you don't miss out. If you want more content, follow the social media pages in the description for cool wildlife pictures and video clips that aren't in the weekly episodes. This is The Wild Report, signing out.